Great Britain has created a quadcopter that attacks with homing missiles. A modern world requires modern solutions, and this is especially true for military craft. That must have been what Telford-based Avonix was thinking when they created their new drone. The Jackal is a unique drone designed for border protection, environmental monitoring, espionage, and many other combat missions. It had a little motor, um, the operator used a cable, uh, the thing was pointed, aimed, and then detonated. Its main feature is the ability to fly both as a regular helicopter and as an airplane simultaneously. To do so, it's been equipped with an innovative flight mode switching technology that allows it to ascend vertically and then switch to a horizontal mode to continue its journey. Quite similar to the Osprey's technology, don't you think? By the way, the Jackal is considered one of the quietest aircraft in the world, making it perfect for spy missions. The enemy may have no idea that they're being followed by this winged monster. Moreover, it can fly to an altitude of 2 miles and is highly maneuverable, making it a very difficult target. The potential demonstrated by this robot has allowed its developers to receive multi-million dollar grants from the government, and as a result, the drone has only gotten better. The Jackal's been armed with two Hellfire missiles that automatically target the enemy's most vulnerable areas, so tanks, airplanes, and helicopters will always be under threat. The Hellfire is extremely accurate and it's laser-guided. Oh yes, the development of artificial intelligence has certainly paid off because the Jackal uses machine learning to analyze data from various sensors and adapts to new conditions. There are basically two things which grow in parallel as society evolves, right? There is the, the power of our technology, and then there is the wisdom of us humans for how to manage the technology. The Jackal can be considered one of the most interesting and promising unmanned aerial vehicles in the world. But there's something even more interesting. Believe it or not, very soon there will be a marine assault via jetpack. Currently, there are several different types of jetpacks, but the most well-known was developed by Jetpack Aviation Corp. The military version of the device has two turbojet engines that can propel a soldier up to a height of 10,000 feet and speeds reaching 125 miles per hour. Before using the jetpack, the pilot must undergo training, which includes several dozen hours of practical lessons and a safety briefing. The jetpack's power only lasts about 30 minutes, but this figure is increasing every year. Even this amount of time would be enough for a dozen jet-powered fighters with grenade launchers or mines to take off and blow up an enemy ship. However, there are also technologies that can do this faster and more effectively, such as the X-47B drone. Not only does it look like something out of a sci-fi movie, but in terms of capabilities, it's hardly inferior. It also can reach out 3,000 nautical miles, stay 50 hours with refueling, and give up not only a picture but can do strikes too for time-sensitive targeting. It's a unique unmanned aircraft designed for naval aviation. The X-47B can perform missions autonomously without constant monitoring by an operator. To do this, the drone is equipped with a self-navigation system so it automatically determines its route and chooses the best path. In addition, the X-47B drone can reach very high speeds of 620 miles per hour while remaining maneuverable, making it ideal for the most dangerous military situations. I bet you didn't know that the X-47B was the first unmanned aerial vehicle to successfully land on an aircraft carrier without a pilot. As it successfully launched an unmanned aircraft from the flight deck of the USS George H.W. Bush aircraft carrier for the first time in history. It happened in 2013 when the drone made three successful landings on the deck of an aircraft carrier in the Atlantic Ocean. It was truly a historic event that gave rise to a new era in aviation and confirmed the possibility of using drones in military operations, including launching from aircraft carriers. Unmanned systems uh, that the X-47 represents will continue that evolution of naval aviation and, and nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. The X-47B laid the foundation for the further development of drones and demonstrated their unique capabilities, which made it possible to create an even more impressive device that can fly at orbital altitudes and shoot down a falling meteorite with one precise volley. In the past, you may have needed you know, a whole strike from a carrier to be able to do that. Now you just do it with one airplane. This is the latest FAXX fighter jet being developed by Boeing. 
It's intended to replace the entire U.S. aerial fleet in the near future, and when that happens, America's enemies should be shaking in their boots. The FAXX has been equipped with the most advanced technology such as self-learning artificial intelligence systems, unmanned capabilities, radar protection, laser deflection, and even electronic warfare technology. The primary ar armament is in weapons bays underneath the airplane where we carry six medium-range radar-guided missiles. In addition, this fighter jet has an incredible top speed of 2100 miles per hour, making it unreachable for modern air defense systems. Thanks to the most advanced Boeing technologies, we now have the world's most dangerous fighter. But that's only if we're talking about aerial combat. Different rules apply on the ground. But even here, there's a king of the beasts. Finally, the ground forces have something to show, and it's called the Robotic Combat Vehicle Light. It's a small unmanned combat vehicle designed for supporting combat operations on the ground. The drone is integrated with artificial intelligence and has a modular design, allowing for upgrades at any time. Plus, any soldier can handle it. Since the initial purpose of its development was reconnaissance, the drone is fairly compact, weighing just 8,300 pounds. It's only a tenth of the weight of the average tank, but that works in its favor. Its hybrid diesel-electric engine allows it to reach a speed of 50 miles per hour without making a loud noise, making it excellent for reconnaissance. So what about its other features? Very high payload capacity of uh, 12 tons on this vehicle also. The drone's modular platform can carry a payload of up to 26,000 pounds, including some fairly powerful weapons. The RCVL is equipped with an external turret for a 25mm main gun, it can easily penetrate the armor of combat vehicles and airplanes. But that's not all. When facing multiple small targets, the drone can be equipped with several M2 machine guns. If the enemy turns out to be large, its 40mm MK19 Mod 3 automatic grenade launcher will come to the rescue, which can handle both tanks and fortified enemy positions. It's impractical to have remote-controlled armies. You would be at a disadvantage given the fast-moving pace of battle. In modern combat, uh, the situation changes every second, and an autonomous robot would be able to respond instantly to those changes. A group of these robots can pose a real threat on the battlefield while also retaining their reconnaissance capabilities. They can track down a target, approach it, and destroy it with their guns. Now that's a true combat mission. Similarly, the world's first fleet of maritime drones created in Ukraine can easily handle targets on the water. On November 11, 2022, Ukraine announced over 100 military maritime drones capable of sinking even an aircraft carrier. The initial goal of creating the drones, which are called USVs, was to create a deadly swarm that could engulf enemy ships. But was this achieved? You be the judge. At 18 feet in length and weighing one ton, the USV carries 440 pounds of explosives in the form of various torpedoes, and its equipment can be changed depending on the task. Four small, high-speed torpedoes can destroy small boats and ships, or its two 200-pound missiles can sink even a frigate. If the target is really huge, like an aircraft carrier, then several drones armed with 800-pound harpoon missiles are a perfect fit. A supersonic projectile flying 15 feet above the water, bypassing all defenses and striking the deck from half a mile in the air? Now that's a formidable weapon. It is inevitable that we are creating machines that are going to be able to do things we cannot currently conceive of them doing. The USV drone can work for 60 hours without recharging and has a range of 500 miles. The military only needs 10 of these drones to create a round-the-clock autonomous patrol. But what happens when these drones number in the hundreds? And what if they team up with the other drones from this video? An armada of flying and floating drones with guided missiles and torpedoes covering ground combat robots, marching in a wall of death towards the enemy? Is that the future? Or is it already the present? You decide. The development of artificial intelligence is a key enabling factor in robotics. And with that, this video's come to an end. If you enjoyed it, don't hesitate to leave a like and a comment so we know which direction to take our content. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.